Welcome to another episode of Florida Grown and Gathered. I'm Josh Harris, and it's been a little while since I've been out in the woods. I um, have been doing a lot of bee work lately, getting the spring season started, and um, today I was moving some bee equipment up to my property, and I just got done. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon, and um, decided to grab my shotgun and walk around a little bit, maybe find a hog. Um, one of the things I'm kind of hunting for though is um, lion's mane mushrooms. We, um, in this area, I found a, quite a few before and we've had a lot of real cold weather and we had some good rains. And so usually that's what um, kicks them off here in this area. So as I'm looking for hogs going through the woods, I'm gonna keep my eyes open and hopefully be able to find some lion's mane. So stay tuned. I'm starting to walk through the woods, getting ready to push through a bedding area. Got a west wind blowing in my face right now. The leaves are super crunchy. They're making a lot of noise. All right. I'm in the area. Got some pretty fresh hog droppings there. Should be some hogs close by. With it being this dry, I think I'll hear them run off. I haven't heard anything yet. So I'm just gonna carefully keep pushing through here. I do see some hog beds right here. They look fairly fresh. Here's a good sign here. little palm fronds and they usually do that when they're nesting when there's a sow with piglets she'll collect a bunch of these and pile them up and the piglets will hide under them so we may have a nesting sow nearby here's some pretty fresh rooting looks like smaller pigs and that's what I would prefer today. A nice little one, easy to carry out. Definitely been some hogs in this wallow here. Here's something over here. Those hogs, deer, turkey. Something walking over here. Oh, that's a, I think it's a bunch of pigs feeding. Oh, that's a big pig. wind's pretty good. I think I'm going to get a shot at these. I've seen like three of them and they're big, real big.
Pigs everywhere. Man, there were a lot of pigs there. I wish I had waited. There was a big blonde one that ran by after I shot this one, but this one had a broadside shot about on a 35 yards and shooting buckshot. I just put it, I aimed it for his head and he dropped. Let's see what we got here. Well, that hunt went well. I've only been out here, got out like, it's like 2.05 and it's three o'clock. So less than an hour, I got a sow on the ground. Um, I'm not gonna show it here on YouTube because she's kind of a mess here. Blood everywhere. But um, it's a nice sow, probably about, I don't know, 80 pounds, 75 pounds. Perfect eating size, so I'm gonna get this gutted and probably just drag it out of the woods. I'm not very prepared today. I don't have a backpack. I don't, the only knife I have is a razor knife. I wasn't, when I left the house, I wasn't planning on hunting. I was just doing bee work, but I got a nice pig on the ground. Um, let me see if I can get a, get a shot of this. That's not too bad. Here it is. Well, I have this hog cleaned up. I gutted it and took off the head to make it lighter to drag. And I'm a, I'm a mess. So I'm gonna walk over. There's a little pond not too far from here. I'm gonna walk over and get cleaned up, then come back and um, grab this hog and drag it back to the truck. So that was another midday success. Hog hunting public land in Florida. I, um, I wasn't really expecting to see hogs up on their feet. But one thing I was thinking about is um, it's been so cold at night lately. Sometimes these hogs seem to huddle up when it's really cold. It's been down low 30s, high 20s, I think, at night, the past couple nights. And so they might have not fed too much last night because it was so cold. And then when it got nice this afternoon, got up because there was a whole herd of them. I, I don't know how, there was hogs everywhere. When I shot, they just, the whole woods <laughs> erupted and they were all rooting and feeding out here in the middle of the day. So that worked out nice. Got exactly what I was hoping for, a nice sow, not too big. And I'll get this back home and get it processed and we'll have some more good food for the family. Came down to this wallow in this little pond over here and just heard some more hogs run off in this direction. They are crawling today. Well, I'm all cleaned up relatively and going back to get the hog and drag it out of here. It feels like the challenge today isn't getting a hog. It's going to be not shooting another one on my way out. It's one of those days they're up on their feet. seems like there's pigs everywhere. Got a little harness of sorts. Rigged up. Get my workout now. Well, I made it back to my truck with the hog. I didn't take any pictures of this hog. It was a little messy by the time I got to it for YouTube, but it's a nice sow. I'm gonna be getting it loaded up here in the truck Got to make some room. I got some beekeeping equipment in here. Gonna put some plastic down, get it home, and get it cleaned up and on ice. It's a nice cool day today, so it'll be fine for the, I don't know, about an hour drive home.